BeamNG is a super fun game with a lot of depth to it. How much depth, you may ask? Well, enough for me to compile 30 hidden in-game features that I'm sure you haven't heard about. If you know at least half of them, you can call me a dirty liar in the comments down below. Let's start with our number one and the piano that is available. I know the high octane gameplay of Beam can be a little too exciting sometimes. Why don't you open up the hood of our classic little friend here and listen to the nice sound of Claire de Lune by Claude Debussy then. Do you recognize this skin? Maybe if I add a little Scooby snack to it, does it get more clear? Nice little addition to the skin roster by the devs here and definitely fitting for our next secret. There is a spooky house on the East Coast USA map, which if you look close enough, has flickering light coming out of it. Oof, I will need some more courage to solve that mystery. The Utah mines have a whole underground tunnel system that doesn't really appear at first sight. But if you enter, there are kilometers of underground intertwined shafts. But you should still be on the lookout. We all know security is BeamNG's top priority. So it's only reasonable that there is a warning sign inside of the pigeon. But that doesn't read right. Or is it just me? No matter what, you should still follow it. Oh no! Are you ever strapped for danger when playing BeamNG? Try pressing Ctrl and H and see what happens. But be prepared to go back to your home base whenever you do that. If you ever feel bored on your way there, why don't you add AI traffic by using the combination Shift, Control, and T. Much easier than going to the menu and doing that. A storm drain system is also drivable in the construction site at West Coast USA. Usually, this is just a one-way ride, but some cars take it to another level. The ESBR 800 is the only vehicle, to my knowledge, which takes the climb easily and makes it look so darn easy too. For all my Nordschleife lovers, there is a suspiciously recognizable looking castle on the outside of the ETK Driver Experience Center. Looks a lot like the Nürburgring to me, huh? BeamNG really wants you to know that you are playing their game right now. Should you ever forget at any point, then their logo is even stamped on the engine block of the scintilla. If we inspect the insides a little further, we will see more anomalies. For example, this bag, which reads handling in the cargo of the widget. And if we have a look at the NAS bottle, it does seem odd as well. I don't recall the company LOL making them, to be honest. Do you guys know what this could mean? I rarely listen to my car radio anymore, but some of these all-time classics that seem to be bumping on repeat in these rides really would make me reconsider. And did you ever wonder why you can't find the hood release of the scintilla? Well, have you ever had a look in the door sills? And while you're at it, take a look at the car clock. Seems to be suspiciously correct with newer vehicles. Hmm, are they spying on us? Or is it all an inside job by foreign life? Take this alien-like monolith on East Coast USA, for example. There seems to be a government cover-up going on because this is the last of its kind. Others have been removed from different maps. What are they trying to hide? Maybe whatever is living here on Jungle Rock Island has something to do with it. Alright, let's get out of here quickly. If they catch us in the scintilla while trying to get away and we go upside down, at least the doors will pop and let us out quickly. If you get into a precarious situation, you can always shift to free cam while using shift and C and then reposition your vehicle by using F7. If you ever wanted to roam the awesome maps of BeamNG while not caring about the driving itself, then pressing control, shift and I while driving will let our helpful buddies from the AI take over the driving for you. Maybe you want to sit back and visit a salt lake right at the border of Johnson Valley. It even has a warning sign which tells you about the sparsely rendered graphics for the next few kilometers. After the fence, a gigantic open space awaits you. Perfect for some speed tests. If you want to enjoy your gameplay without any overlays, to make some stunning recordings for example, Alt plus U manages that for you. We've all been there. I am under the water. Please help me. 
But what if I told you there is a way to dive deep into the pools of the world without any fear of your engine waterlocking? Have you tried electric vehicles? Turns out if you leave out the combustion engine, water is less effective, at least with this driver. Speaking of combustion engines though, if you take a stroll to the stars, then your engine power will swiftly decline as the air pressure changes with altitude. Eventually, it will stop working altogether. Air can also appear in the form of wind, which you can adjust using some of the beautiful UI apps out there. Bruh. Try to click this grayed out panel in the main menu six times. Would be a shame if you couldn't play the work in progress career mode. We mentioned that in our latest BeamNG video as well, so maybe take a yander over there if you're done here. This French rally team really got the most French driver ever. And I would definitely buy a burger of this shop after that taxi advert. Seems 100% legit and super professional. And lastly, there are fenders for the 200BX, which come up by using the very funny search term Turbo Rabbit. It's a reference to a Japanese body kit manufacturer. And that's it, all 30 secrets. How many did you know already? And did you already know about this awesome top seven real life stages in WRC video? If not, clicking on this thing right now will definitely help you out. Thanks for watching and until next time, cheerio.